Hey everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Postmark to send emails that would probably be blocked otherwise uh, due to volume. So if you've ever run into issues where you're sending email and you hit a limit and you can't send anymore, this would uh, is a good option for you. Uh, it also allows you to send with your own domain name. And we'll kind of get into that just a little bit. On the level of complexity, it's eh, it's kind of up there a couple chilies uh, worth of complexity, I would say. But uh, I'll see if I can guide you through most of it. Now, please note that this is a third-party app, so we can't offer support on the Postmark side of it. Um, you may need, if you're not familiar with this, you may need help from like a web developer. But let's jump right in and see what we have. So Darkroom has this new option right here, Postmark Email. First thing that you'll need to do is set up a Postmark account. And I have mine right here. And you'll need to add um, what comes with a, its own server. And you would add a, um, a stream right here. So what we'll do is I'm going to set one up i already have mine set up so i'll actually end up using that one uh, but i'm going to type in booth you can type in darkroom booth I'll call it booth two and this is a transactional stream you're not sending out a bulk email you're just sending out one uh, um, at a time or a couple at a time. You're not sending out a thousand emails at a time. So you want to use transactional. And then you would create the stream. And it's going to give you this, um, this code. You don't need the code. What you're going to want to use is the uh, API. So what we're going to do is click on API tokens and you would copy this API and then you would paste it into Darkroom. Um, the other thing you'll need to do on the Postmark setup side is adding the sender signature. And this can be, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. So you have your DNS settings and you would add those to your website so that it can verify you. So if you click on um, the settings, you would copy the host name for uh, uh, type equals text and then the value and paste it in. And you can see I have blue domain right here and I've added the option to text right here, txt, and then uh, the C name for the bounces right here under C name. So it tells you where to put it right here and the host name and the value. And if that's a little bit too complex for you, talk to a web developer, they'll know what to do. So now that you have that all set up and verified, um, you're going to get your API key. Let me grab it from here. Oops. And the reason what a stream is, it allows you to send through, and it's made for people sending bulk email, and then also uh, email that like are about your account or those type of things. Now we're using it just a little bit differently than it's intended, but it should still be fine. Uh, you also won't run into some of those issues that you run into with free accounts like Gmail or uh, Yahoo Mail or Hotmail. So copy my token. Now we're in friendly territory darkroom we're going to paste that token in right there under sender name I'm using my own donate domain name so uh, oh. Eugene wise from mail at Eugene wise dot com copy paste so those are the from and the reply, and then the stream name, whoops. 
is booth. And then we can send a, te a test message while you're uh, in uh, a eval or test mode. You can only send it to the same domain, but once you purchase it, you can, because uh, you can run it as a, as a trial. But um, I'm gonna send it to Eugene at darkroom software.com. And it's testing okay. So now we know we're okay. It's set up. Now when we send from Darkroom under photo uh, email, we want to make sure it's set to postmark. And we can also enable uh, photo to phone. Okay. We'll start a session. And we'll go ahead and send it to my phone number. And well, it's unverified. Once again, you only send it to the uh, same domain name. So you'd probably want to send it to an email account using the same domain name until you get it verified. So that's one thing that people can kind of trip over while they're setting it up. But here we go. I have one message from mail at eugenewise.com and I don't have to worry about email limits. It looks more professional because it's coming from my own domain and I also don't have to worry about all the craziness that goes along with those other email accounts. They're, they're good, but um, if this is too complicated, darkroom email is as long as you have a free email or a current maintenance plan, it's built into the software, much easier to use. So it all depends on where you are technically and as a business and what how you wanna be a forward facing business wise. Hi everybody, one more thing before we go, and something I forgot to mention a little earlier is the logging that Postmark has. And that's one of the reasons we really like it. So you can look at the activity from an event uh, let's open up the server and then go to our stream and then under activity I can see what was delivered in in this case I had a hard bounce and that's because I misspelled my name it's Eugene rather than blue Jean. but just one more reason why we think you might really like postmark thanks for watching I'll see you next time thanks again for watching if there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. Most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.